Here, we will be analyzing an inclined plane used as a simple machine. Like all simple machines, it will help us overcome a load, typically represented as the weight of an object to be raised, by applying a convenient effort. So let us start with this inclined plane and a block of mass m is placed on it. For this analysis, we will assume the friction is negligible. The dimensions of the inclined plane are known. So its height is h, its length is l, and its angle of inclination is theta. Now the force analysis. The weight of the block w will be acting downward. It will be given by mass into gravitational acceleration mg. And we are going to resolve all the forces in two directions, perpendicular to the plane and parallel to the plane. So this is the coordinate frame that we have chosen and the weight w is making an angle theta with this perpendicular to the plane. So let us resolve it. We will get two components. The component adjacent to theta will be the cos component, so mg cos theta and the component opposite to theta will be mg sin theta. Now since we do not see this block either sinking into the plane or bouncing off the plane, this mg cos theta must be exactly balanced by the normal reaction coming from the plane on the block and therefore n and mg cos theta balance each other. So we are left with only this mg sin theta component which is acting down the plane and which will tend to slide the block down the plane. So if we want to raise it, we will have to apply an effort which is opposite to mg sin theta and at least equal to mg sin theta. Now since sin theta has a value 1 or less, clearly our effort is at the most equal to or mostly less than our load w and therefore the inclined plane is offering us convenience of overcoming a large load with a smaller effort. This convenience is measured in terms of mechanical advantage and it is a ratio of load to the effort applied. So we can calculate the mechanical advantage that is load upon effort which is equal to w divided by E. Since W is mg and effort E is mg sin theta, this weight mg gets cancelled and we will get mechanical advantage as 1 upon sin theta. Since sin theta increases with the angle, we can see that the mechanical advantage increases as the inclination theta decreases. So if a plane is much steeper, we won't be getting much of mechanical advantage, while if it is rising only gently, the mechanical advantage will be larger. Now let us calculate the velocity ratio. Velocity ratio is the ratio of displacements of the effort divided by displacement of the load. And uh, velocity ratio is the price we pay for the mechanical advantage we get. That uh, we are getting convenience in force but we are going to lose something in terms of speed. If we are overcoming a large load with a smaller force, the load will move slowly. So we will calculate velocity ratio as displacement of effort upon displacement of load. Mind you, this is to be measured along the direction of force. So it will be L divided by H and which turns out to be 1 upon sin theta again. Finally, the efficiency will be mechanical advantage upon velocity ratio, what we get divided by what we pay for it and this will turn out to be 1 because there is no friction.